Feel happy about my set. Really enjoy my little time on the stage, and maybe when uh, the 50th anniversary and may I close it, maybe we get more time and think as I really enjoy it. So, some fest bless up all the time. them say self praise is not a recommendation but to me it's the first recommendation self praise but until the fans and the promoters decide say how them are move me up i will be performing wherever i don't really care i just perform for the people and When I can really sit down and make a song, especially the song I did for my dad, when I can do a song like that, really, people can really gravitate towards that song. It can really touch someone because they have some real good fathers out there, you know. But them, they really get the highlight that they deserve. So when I really give them that highlight, they will always get that type of support. So. You used to tell me dopey stories about rolling cars. You used to tell me no go river, but me still go. But thank you for the kids still. They make me there a whole a lot. The other day me take a walk in the park and me see a little school youth about your ice cream. Him say sir, can you spell the word father? Daddy, you know sir, I hear the name right here. I'm just like that show to the end. Show to the end. I felt awesome. Everybody kept hugging me when I came off the stage and the crowd response was awesome. I just feel nice. You see when the outside and the front, the start at the front, I rocked to the set, so God is good. I hate doing the regular show. I think a big festival of this caliber, you know, we should have lights. We should, we're supposed to come out of the city like Beyonce, you know what I mean? So I just did the best with what I had. You know what I mean? I incorporated the umbrella, the... the the costume change, the dancers with the funky clothes, and we just did have to take it on an international level. I do have my moments when I feel like I can't bother and I want to give up, but it's nights like this when I hit the stage and my fans are screaming. You know what I mean? And everybody's enjoying the show that remind me that this is bigger than the industry. We're talking about fans worldwide and those are the people that matter. And as long as you have fans, everybody else can go to hell. I feel very, very happy and blessed at the same time, you know, because this is history and, you know, my kids are going to look forward to this because they'll be taught in school that their dad is the first artist, first African artist to be on the biggest reggae festival in the world. 
and I'm happy to be part of this. started as a dancer and I was dancing to only dance all vibes and you know I've, I've always wanted to be different because where I come from dance all music is like one percent you know so it, it's, 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 it's a must for me that I do the culture because I want to be different from everybody. Because um, during my set, I did a reggae song. It's called Alubarika, and Alubarika means God blessings. I remember in that song, I said, from Lagos down to Jamaica in 2013. You know, when I sang that song, I never had a passport. You know, and everything is everything coming like it's a dream. <laughs> Of course, I enjoyed my time. I'm going to go to the jambi. I'm going to go to the he helped me with coordination of my dancers, everything, my whole entire performance. I mean, we just did it in one week, our practice, including myself, my outfit, everything getting prepared, how I look, how I'm going to look, uh, what we're going to do, including the bands as well. So it's just one week and we just shut it up. I start watching a lot of performance like Lady Saw, Bounty Killer Carte because even the man they want to get something from. And of course, a lot of performers they don't just really get perfect and get being a, a solid performer on the first day. So I'm really open to be in learning, in a learning process, and I'm just I'm gonna embrace everything that I'm getting towards me. Yeah. 